Hi, my name is Carrie Wells. I am black, I am trans, I am HIV positive, and I am fierce. Where's my makeup? Where's my lipstick? You know, I, I looked horrible in there. I was like, who are these people? And they were from the project. I mean, it was, it was, oh my God, it was a moment that, it was a moment that changed my life. When I met, oh my God, when I met Clyde, him and Peter, I mean, I was like, who are these people wanting to get in here to see me? I mean, I was still naked, but at the same time, it was like the, they were my fairy godmothers. <laughs> no pun intended, but I mean, it just, it was just a different feeling. When I was in Florida, you were the disease. You, specifically, were the disease. And I'm not gonna say, well, no, I am, because I'm entitled to my feelings. I felt like I was treated like I was the disease. When I moved here, I had a disease. So it was totally different. I had to learn how to breathe and walk at the same time again. When I was, you know, when I got off of life support, you don't know those things because those are things that you take for granted. That you have to have enough breath to be able to walk or take steps or things like that. Everything was mapped out for me, whether I was gonna live or whether I was gonna die. When I got here, I knew that I had hope. So that's, that's what I had. I, I had a hope when I was here. All I kept thinking about was when I was gonna die, not how I was gonna live or how my life was gonna My performance started in 1995, it was September 1995. I remember that because they had the the Labor Day, um, they had the cars on the ground with all the hay and Rock Island by JR. So you know, they had the Labor Day parade and everything. And I was just this, well they called us boogers. I was a booger drag queen. <laughs> That was just starting out. My mom had went with me to Yonkers and we had got a gown and I had wore these patent leather shoes, which obviously is a sin to wear, you know the JRs. But I got first runner up in my first pageant. And this pageant, I didn't know that they qualified you to go somewhere else, you know. So I had to go somewhere else and compete, you know. And I really got interested in performing. I always wanted to sing and dance and do things like that. And I did start off as a backup dancer, but I didn't dare think I would be performing on my own. But I, I love it. It's something I love to do. And, and I want to be of service. So this is how I can be of service, you know. So I love it. It's what I love to do. I love to see people's reactions. And, and it's so funny looking back at little old me, so. <laughs> By inclusion, 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 include us, that's it. That's it, have a conversation, you know, in inclusion. Um, the A is for allies, we need allies. I mean, you know, we need to, to work hand in hand together. The project has changed my life because I am able to afford the medications that I would not dare be able to afford. When you're diagnosed with HIV, you have had careers before. I was an insurance claims adjuster for years, but I couldn't dare go to work and pay for my medication. It just wouldn't happen. I always had something to look forward to coming to the project, whether it was getting pantry, whether it was coming out to see, you know, the nice faces. I mean, it was just wonderful. One thing I want people to know about living with HIV, it is not a death sentence. It's not a death sentence. I mean, it is something that you have to get used to. Everybody has their bad days, you know, good or bad, and that may be with any disease, but I thought that, I thought I was gonna be dead, but the, the most important thing, the most important thing for me, and the reason why I'm doing this, is because there are a lot of people that are scared to get tested. There are a lot of people that were busy like me, and there are a lot of people that, that look like me, you know? There are a lot of people that look like me. I'm speaking up for myself and I'm speaking up for a lot of people. Your life is not over. Your life is not over. And you are living with HIV. You're not dying with HIV. That's what I would definitely say, period. Point blank, the end. <laughs>